X Super Home sent us a valve index, USB radiator cover. This is like that Kiwi set of fans we reviewed and tested, except this looks like it replaces the whole entire frunk. Let's find out. <laughs> Now we got some tape on here. You know what we have to do with tape. We gotta have that small sharp unboxing knife so that you don't hurt yourself or anyone else around you. Safety first. Cat literally ran off seeing that thing. So we are correct. It replaces the entire trunk. Doesn't even have a USB plug. It literally plugs into the USB port without your usual metal housing for it. It's just gonna plug straight in there like that. They're saving as much money as possible here. And then we got a little tiny on off switch that goes up or down. Definitely feels cheap, but it's about how it functions. So we gotta take it to the other studio. We gotta install it. We're gonna compare it next to the Kiwis and give you some thoughts on it after that. So we are over here. We still have the Kiwi fan installed right now. I've worked up a little bit of a sweat with Beat Saber. And when you turn on the Kiwi, you instantly feel the relief. You feel some wind being pulled in out of your T-zone, getting that heat out of the front of it there. So let me uninstall this one real fast, go through the install on the new one, and then try that one out instead. So the Kiwi has that simple button in the corner we showed you before in videos. You press that, that turns it off. Comes off like that. I think the Kiwi looks really good on the front end. This one covers the whole front like the Frunk normally would. Get this thing in here in the USB port. It's really weird that it's not a full USB port. It's just that little piece that snaps on there. Not a tight fit. If you really push it in, can we get a little better? It is magnetic, so I feel like, <laughs> no, that's not off to a good start there. It's supposed to be magnetic, but the plastic is warped enough that it's just not wanting to stay. So let me see if I tweak it a little bit. Okay, bad sign number one. Let's test out the fan now. Oh man, there's a lot of bad things. The fit is enough for me to say no on this thing, but let's give it a try here. The airflow is almost non-existent and it's hanging off. Stay on. I keep thinking maybe I just haven't hit it hard enough to really get it in there. I think maybe now I have. No, no, no. Stay. Nope. All right. Piece of sh that is garbage, it's going in the garbage. If you want a fan, get the Kiwi. It's just leagues better. It's actually a quality little fan. The only thing about, like I said, and it's originally, it's a little tricky to get it aimed, but then once you do, pops in there, one button press. This is the product. I will leave a link in the description to this Kiwi fan, not to the X Super Home. It's just too cheap, it's too crappy, don't buy it. Thank you for coming out and being here with us tonight. We, we keep these reviews here to help you stay informed on what not to buy, and apparently we found another product not to buy. So thank you. And I will see you in another reality. <laughs>